Well, hello again, friends. My name is Raymond Thomas Harper, and I'm the pastor of St. Luke's United Methodist Church in Bryan College Station. And this is Weekly Theistic Reflections, where each week I take a verse of scripture, unpack it a little bit, talk about what's going on in the context of that scripture, talk about how that scripture might relate to what's going on in our world today, or just talk about some thoughts that I have on that scripture that's bouncing around in my head. If you're new here, I invite you to take a look around the channel. Uh, if you like the content, please click like and subscribe, hit the notification bell in order to be notified. I post a new video every single Thursday. And as always, if you think someone would benefit from the content of this particular video, I invite you to share that video with them in order to be a blessing to them. I'm in Titling this episode, Mental Chanting. The scripture I picked today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 32. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. And so, uh, what do I mean by mental chanting? Well, uh, if you have watched any of the episodes that I've done in the past where I've kind of featured the studio slash gym slash workout slash gaming place that this is, uh, you probably have caught on that I'm a big TCU fan. I uh, went to TCU for undergrad uh, and have really gotten into TCU football. Uh, and if you've seen any of those videos, you know that I, I'm not so subtle about that. Uh, well, usually uh, when football season comes around, uh, I am spending my Saturdays glued to the TV and just enjoying all of the pageantry and the drama and the excitement that is uh, college football. But uh, I'll admit that uh, sometimes I am so into college football that I constantly find myself just throughout the day uh, kind of chanting in my head, TCU. TCU. Just because you know you're so hyped up uh, from the uh, game that you watched last Saturday. Uh, don't mind that fly that just went by. <laughs> uh, or, uh, you know, you're getting ready for a big game that's coming up. Well, recently, my team has not been as good as they were in previous years. Uh, we've hit kind of a rough patch, and uh, there was especially not last season as much, but the season before that, that we just really kind of the bottom fell out. Um, and I spent my off season so mad at my team that anytime my brain would go on to that automatic TCU chant, um, I just started adding TCU is terrible myself at two o'clock in the morning thinking about what I got to do for the day what my uh, to-do list is going to be uh, when I have to get up and get out of bed and get to work and then all of a sudden a random TCU will pop in there and I'd be sure to add that is terrible uh, and I don't know if that was just kind of a, a mental revolt against my knee-jerk reaction to chant TCU uh, but after a while it felt like I actually believed <laughs> that TCU is terrible now, why do I tell you that story of kind of mental chanting? As to uh, show you that I probably uh, commit too much of my joy and happiness to a college football team? No, well, that's probably true, and that's another video altogether. Uh, but that's not really why I tell you that story. I tell you that story in order that I can tell you this one. So uh, when 2020 rolled around, that was a big year uh, for all of us with everything that was going on with the pandemic uh, and all the social tensions and all the difficulties. It was also a year that I uh, changed appointments and moved my family and became a solo pastor for the first time. If you've seen any of my other videos uh, early on in this channel, you, I talk a lot about that because I'm kind of right in the midst of it uh, and all the fear and uncertainty and uneasy that, that I was kind of walking through at that time. Um, we had everything that was going on in the world, which was probably much bigger and more important than what was going on specifically in my life, but it all kind of culminated in this uneasiness, in this spirit of fear, in this, I don't know what's going to happen next, uh, and I'm worried about the future. Well, we've moved in. We've been here for about a year. Uh, God has blessed us on our path. And one of the things that has come out of that is my daughter, Alyssa, has been a part of the day school there at Kingsgate. You might remember I talked about this a couple weeks ago pretty heavily. One of the first songs that they taught her was a song where the chorus goes, I am not a slave to fear. I am a child of God. And so I would hear my daughter singing this song over and over and over again at the dinner table, playing by herself in the toy room, uh, going to bed through the monitor. 
And after a while, that words, those words started to stay with me. Um, and I would just find myself singing that to myself. I am not a slave to fear. I'm a child of God. And I remember this kind of tipping point where I was like, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that in my head every single time that spirit of fear rises within me. I'm going to say that basic line, I am not a slave to fear. I am a child to God. And so I started practicing that in my mind, in my heart, every single time I got anxious, every single time I felt unworthy, every single time I thought, I don't know what's going to happen next. I am not a slave to fear. I am a child of God. And something happened in me. Just like I began to believe that TCU is terrible. I didn't believe it at first, but I began to believe the words that I was mentally chanting over and over in my head. I'm not a slave to fear. I'm a child of God. I don't know about you or how the enemy might come at you sometimes, but some, he can do his work really well. And he seems to hit us in the weakest of moments and say we are unworthy, to say uh, we are not lovable, to say that we'll never get out of this, to say that we'll never break this bondage, to say that we are not good enough. I wonder what it would be like if whenever fear or anxiety or doubt creep up in your heart, that you would claim that truth. Even if you don't believe it in the moment, even if you are the farthest from feeling that, if you just train yourself through mental chanting, no, I'm not a slave to fear. I'm a child of God. Claiming that truth, God's truth, to set you free until you really start believing it. Speak truth until you believe the truth. In order to walk in the light of God's truth, Claim that for yourself today. I am not. I am a child of God. While you're here, I invite you to go back and watch this video. Uh, I entitled A Spirit of Fear. It was all the way back to my third episode and kind of right in the middle of those major anxiety moments that I was in uh, and kind of uh, see how I walked through that during that time. If you're interested just to get a little bit uh, more ideas about this topic and how uh, we can face our anxieties and face our fear because we know that we do not face it alone. Next week, I'm going to talk about grace for today alone. If you're in the Brian College Station area, I invite you to come out and take a look at us. We have a worship service every single Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Um, we also live stream here on Facebook, so you can take a look at us remotely. Get an idea of some past services. Also, I have all the videos up there as well. Uh, get an idea of what we're about. But uh, we'd love to have you come visit us in person. Uh, we'd, I'd love to meet you, um, do ministry and life with you. Uh, but until then, friends, um, every single time that wells up in you, whatever it is that you're wrestling with, just start chanting in your head, I am not, I am a child of God. And until next time, friends, continue to love each other well. Take care. I'm no